Hey guys, what's up? This is Bones and Fofo, and welcome to Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. And we're back again for the one millionth time. Is this our first podcast of 2023? It is. Welcome 2023. Yeah, yeah. Although I must say we do have a new set. What's up? What's up? <laughs> we have Distort Monsters in the back. For wow, this. we have so much to talk about. We have something over there. There's a dog over there on the right. And there's a Ay, lot. Na- there's na- a na- lot na- going on. Na- na- excite. Na- Wait, na- na- excite. Na- na- excite to si because I feel like 2023 is a new beginning for us. Yeah. Let's backtrack a bit. Because 2022, sinabi natin na, okay, this is the year that I am going to chill out a bit. Because I feel like we got burnt out in 2021 that we were really like, let's just enjoy being potatoes. I hate to admit it, but you're right. Because me, I, I have so much pride in my work ethic. Yeah, I know. That I'm just like... I know. Go! I know, but I also think it's an eye-opener for us because we work hard, we play hard, but then we forget to rest. So, so should I admit this? Of course! Wakamayabang! <laughs> I got burnt out last 2022. Parang teary-eyed Yeah, no, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I felt it. I allowed 2022 to come to me and I was like, Mamba mentality was not there. Hold on, you are getting emotional right now. Like, I'm emotional seeing you emotional. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I take my work very seriously. Work is my life. My life is a Your lot work? of work. Yeah. And I just took it to heart. That's all. That's all it is. So, parang accepting that openly. It's the first time I've ever accepted that, hey, yeah, we did kind of get burnt out. We could have handled that a bit better. Mm-hmm. But, no, I like that we're talking about it, right? No, and I think that, like I said kanina, it's an eye-opener because we work so hard. But then sometimes, honestly, you forget to pull it back a bit and say na, hey, let's take a break, let's enjoy the rest of the night. Because just for context, Fofo is the type of person that he works, works, works all day, every day. The whole day, like pagising na pagising pa lang namin, work is already on his mind. And I'm like, dude, I just want a cup of coffee first. <laughs> we I have that. a cup of coffee while I, I, know, I work though. I know, but that's the thing. Like, parang for me, the way that I am in the morning is when I wake up, ayoko muna isipin yung work. I want to have a cup of coffee, have a blank mind, and just be like, I am gonna start fresh and blank first, and then I will get into work mode. Okay, just to respond to that. I'm somewhat the same way. It's just that I get excited to work. I know. Or I get excited, you know, to do these things. And I'm just very appreciative. And I I think my excitement comes from appreciation of having work. Because one, it's not easy to come across work. Of course, of course. Two, it's not easy to come across work that you enjoy. And three, it's not easy to come across work that you enjoy and that also pays well. And let's be honest, what we do pays well. So I'm like... I'm very appreciative of that and I never ever want to let go of that appreciation. And maybe that's also why I was a bit sad when I mentioned that, hey, I got burnt out. Because part of that burnout was me. Parang naging guilty ka. Yeah, yeah, I guess, no, I guess so. Now that we're talking about it, it's me letting go of one of my core values, which is being thankful Mm. and having that gratitude and appreciation for what I have in front of me that I know not everyone else has this kind of opportunity. So parang I've always made it a point to really make the most out of it. And I guess during the first half of 2022, I wasn't able to do that yeah. because burnout is real. Yeah, but <laughs> I think it's also such a real emotion that you felt guilty yeah, for you're taking right. a break. Because a lot of people also go through that. Even I go through that. Na, I felt guilty for taking a break. I guess you can. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Thomas. and I think a lot of people go through that. On a daily basis, I feel like I go through that, na I want to do something fun, but then I realize, okay, I have a lot of work to do. And kahit na tapos na yung quote-unquote work day natin, parang I don't feel like playing games because I feel guilty. I don't even feel like watching the K-pop videos that I want to enjoy because I feel guilty watching them sometimes because I feel like there's so much on my plate. Mm-hmm. So I try to be productive. Like last night, before he went to bed, I was folding clothes, in laundry natin, <laughs> and I was watching content, and I was just like, oh, this is so much fun! But then I was like, I'm productive! But then we also have to remind ourselves that 
sometimes it's okay to just watch something for like 30 minutes after a work day. It's okay to just say, okay, this is the end of my work day. Because we don't have We set our own time. So we have to be able to manage that. Para hindi tayo mapunta sa 2022 version of us where we just completely blanked out and yeah. just escaped from the world of social media. Like we were on a lull for so long. Yeah, we were. And for us, no work, no pay tayo, fofo. So we have to <laughs> we have to be able to balance work and relaxing. Yeah. Have we gotten better? I think we've gotten much better, but here I am reminding you also, it's okay to take your breaks and to slow down so that you won't feel guilty for half a year that you relaxed. Yeah, I mean, looking back, I'm happy we went through it. Yeah, I mean, you know me, I don't mind. I don't, yeah, I don't mind having those highs and the lows. Mm. I really don't because that's where you learn. That's why I was asking you, have we learned? Have we gotten better oh, yeah. at this? Because that's something we're trying to apply now. We're going hard for 2023, so we want to work hard. We have a lot of plans, <laughs> but we're also trying to dial it back when we can. <laughs> Hopefully for 2024, de ba? My energy pa tayo, my yeah. hit points pa tayo. Di tayo critical one out of one hundred. Alarms blaring, yes, hit yes. points. It's part of life. And these are stories that we can share in the podcast to our friends, our loved ones, or family. In hindsight, still maintaining that very appreciative attitude. Okay, so we had 2022 versions of us. Now this is the 2023 version of Bones and Fofo that we're gonna work hard, play hard, and relax steadily. More skill points. <laughs> Kailangan... More skill points added into the relaxation category. Yes. Kailangan may balance tayo. Hindi pa think... Work smart. Work hard la. Okay. Saya though. <laughs> I so know fun. work is so much fun, and I know that you get a lot of your energy from work. Yeah, I mean we got. That because of work. So I like this topic. I think we veered away a bit from what you wanted to mm -hmm. initially really talk about. talk about. But I think there's okay. a lot of yeah, there's a lot of meat here in this topic that we're talking about. And let's get into the specifics. So 2022, it was what it was. So mm -hmm. for 2023, what adjustments exactly are we making to not make that same mistake? So what have you done? Like what are examples? It's been a month and a week into uh, this year. What have you consciously done? We all know how unproductive of a person I am. And it no, it's hard because for me, I feel like I'm so used to being a follower that I don't take enough initiative. And this is also something that we have been discussing for the past week or so. Na parang bones, you need to take more initiative. We're a team. It can't just be you doing you know, everything. So it's a lot of conscious effort on my end. Now, parang sometimes I feel like Am I meeting Fofo's expectation? Am I meeting my own expectation? But I don't like that. I don't like that I pressure myself to meet like, people's expectations. What I want is to be able to do a number of things in a day and finish it. Yeah, I Kasi, agree. Because I'm the type of person that starts something and does step one and two, but then I don't do the middle part. I don't even finish the project that I started. <laughs> my mantra for 2023 is when I start something, I need to learn how to finish it. Right away. Right away. Right away. And, and just and for context, Bonizi and I had an argument just a few days ago. Argument, <laughs> Because, yes, we fight. Of yeah, course, it still do. happens. <laughs> but, yeah, we were talking about her not finishing some of the things she had to do. So let's say she had a list of three things to do for the day. She would do those three things two-thirds of the way. And not finished. And like the one-third is like the easiest part and she just like doesn't do it. Yeah. So I'm happy you said though that you don't want to live by expectations or get pressured by those because it really isn't. And I mean, I know that I am very stern when I'm in work mode. But the thing is, you shouldn't also see it that way because you know that I'm like that. It shouldn't even matter to you too much because you know what has to be done. Yeah. All you need to know is that you have the next hour. You have the next day. It's just like our content. We're always able to post. Like there's always another time to post. So you can't be afraid to make that mistake. So when that mistake happens and we're talking, we're like, okay, take it in. It hurts to be called out and to be corrected. Yes. But literally have a cup of coffee, get a donut, and then move on. Sana lagi tayo may donuts sa bahay. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> diba, whatever you need, just move on. Like literally the next hour is another opportunity. That's why for me, I hope that you can 
I guess slowly adjust how you face like mistakes or failure because yeah. that's how you do it when like when Bonizi makes a mistake talagang down in the dumps yeah, yeah. like what I really, is this I really like, beat myself up I'm like what's happening here like I feel like it's the end of the world yeah like, and I always tell her I always have to remind her pick yourself back up there's the next hour there's the next day others don't have the next hour others don't have the next day others don't have the next time but we do and we're lucky to have that so for yeah. me just go for it and correct the mistake right right away so mindset ba mindset <laughs> uh, yeah you know in a way but uh, or just being aware not even mindset yeah. just being aware that there's a next time and the next time could be the next second minute hour day depending on you know w- what you're thinking and what you're doing yeah and i'm like lately one of the things that i've been doing to help improve my year and my productivity i really consciously try to catch myself when i'm losing focus like when i'm working on something today like i was working on let's say project one and i had to send an email to someone and then my eye veers off somewhere i'm like no 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 go back go back go back close tab close tab and then i just stick yeah. to that one thing because once i start reading something lalo na yung mga group chat na yan <laughs> yung mga group chat ko sobrang love ko talaga ang conversations namin but i have learned na okay i have to just read when i'm having coffee when i'm eating maybe or at the end of the day na bones i have a question do you not know that i always get distracted parang feeling ko hindi ka na distract what oh my okay, god so, okay so i need to start making cuento for i'll go finish okay, before so i make cuento the way that i see you like in a day or like because i hear it mikael listens to like a bunch of videos but i feel like you're being productive when you watch these videos like you're always listening to something that you'll learn from and that you'll get information from and then when i hear you with your basketball stuff naman i'm like oh fofo's relaxing i'm gonna relax too but i get into that mode also oh, bones okay all those videos it doesn't matter if it's slightly educational or not is a distraction you know exactly what you need to do. Me watching videos doesn't help us create content. No, it doesn't, doesn't help us plan for the year. No. So that's me getting distracted a lot. Uh, a lot. No, because, okay. But here's the difference, okay? I catch myself. Okay. And when I catch myself, I make sure I get at least one thing done. So you need That's productive. Mo. Like I finish it. And sometimes that one thing done, like an email, If you spend like five minutes just to finish the email and press send, you closed off that thing to do. Mm-mm. That's productivity. I'm I'm like a step ahead. Yeah, because yung sa akin, I'll write out the email and then I'll put it in the chat, but then I forget to send it. Yeah, so you just have to adjust how you do it. Like you can get distracted as much as you still get distracted nowadays. So that's okay. You just have to mix it around para maklose lang yung kailangan mong gawin. Because I get distracted a lot. I wish that I were more productive, but it's just that during those short bursts that I am productive, I make sure I finish it. I make sure that sarado na yung kailangan kong gawin. Here's another thing. Now that we're talking about lists, sometimes I feel parang pressured or guilty if, kunwari, I have five things on my list. I'm only able to do two things, pero significant naman. But if they're not super big things that I need to do, I'm like, I need more, I need more. But then, that's why I'm so unproductive because I start little steps for each to-do list, but then I don't finish it because I feel like I just need to do something. I think that's part of planning and planning for you and me is very difficult because you and I wear very many hats. Yeah. Remember, Bonizi and I are producers, writers, editors, content creators, social media managers, Lahat. we're shooters, we're light directors, hosts, we're all these hats in one day, Bones. Uh, bale, It's crazy. Bale octopus tayo. We're Siamese octopi. Octopi! <laughs> <laughs> Because we are like a Siamese octopi with 16 arms that have to do everything competently and at the same time on the same day. That's not easy. It isn't easy at all. That's why I understand the dilemma that you're going through. And I think it's really important that we had this podcast because now we're actually sharing our techniques. Yes, and now because we just, assumed we knew each other's techniques, I guess. And now I just want to say for the listeners of the podcast, if you guys want to apply to be part of our team and you feel like anything that Mikael mentioned fits your, yeah. your any skills, of those like twelve things I mentioned, uh, apply. Just send it over to the email <laughs> of Behind Relationship. Email goals. us at behindrelationshipgoals at gmail.com.
You better make sure you check the email though. Oh, that's another yeah. thing. Check the email of behind relationship goals. Yeah, but they basically that's everything that we do. So imagine your lists. All of a sudden, there are easy, medium, and hard things to do. The easy you can get done in a day. The medium it can get done in a week. The hard can get done in a month. It's extremely hard to keep track of all of that because you have so many different buckets to keep track of with varying levels of tasks. It's really a work in progress for us. So for you, something that I've learned is that keep it simple. So you mga overarching big ideas, just put it down below and everything that you can finish at the start, finish it na right away. Okay. And then you have time, like 30 minutes or an hour, to sit down and really think of these medium and harder problems. Which one can I tackle and which one can I break down properly? Mm-hmm. Like let's say you're gonna plan for a huge vlog series. Obviously, you're not gonna figure that out in a day. I know. I you're have... not gonna be able to even make progress in a day. I actually have something like that. I know, now. but you can't like sit on it for an hour yeah. and actually make progress. It takes time. You're probably gonna need some help to actually do the legwork for you. Mm. But things like that, like maybe a reel or the podcast content, you can do that right away mm-hmm. and actually close it. So that's where, those are the things that you should add for your free time and just limit the amount of time you spend on things you already know you can't finish. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so happy we're doing this podcast. It feels like therapy right now. <laughs> yeah, you have couples to sit. Therapy. You have to sit. Couples and uh, workers uh, therapy. Team therapy. Kaya siguro mas may argument tayo ngayon kasi hindi tayo nang podcast recently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't press record. Ah! Wait, oh, you were the one that pressed it. I was gonna blame I you. Know, you didn't press record. <laughs> At this point, you're seeing me and Bonizi giving ourselves therapy. <laughs> Dapat yata baguhin natin yung title ng podcast. <laughs> Couples Therapy with Bones and Wolf. <laughs> Behind Relationship Therapy. <laughs> okay, so go. I mean, if you have questions, I mean, now is the time. I may have some questions bubbling up, but you may have more questions for okay. me. Sometimes I feel guilty because playing games. I want to spend time on it. Like, what? I want to play Animal Crossing or I want to play a new game that I bought. But I want to spend like a couple of hours on it like how do you feel like if you saw me in that mode like at the end of the day but we still had things to do i don't care as long as you take responsibility look you could play the whole morning as long as you know in the afternoon you finish what you need to do lang. okay like i feel like i have to do so much before i actually play my game i or used I to watch. play i used to play ragnarok in the morning I know, but you know, I bought Cyberpunk, but I haven't been able to Yeah, play so I, I would play in the morning, but I would keep in mind that, okay, if I'm going to play in the morning for like an hour or two or even three hours, I just need to make sure that I know what I have to do for the rest of the day and that I can still get it done after I play the game. Okay. It's really just a matter of knowing what you're capable of in that day. Yeah. yeah. And if you're going to take like two hours playing the game and then another two hours stressing over medium and hard problems that you can't finish, all of a sudden, wala ka ng oras for the easy problems, yeah. all of a sudden, office is closed, you can't get any grabs anymore. Eh, wala, wala na. Wala ka yeah. na tama, tama. So it's really just a matter of aligning everything. You know, sending messages out to people, we put that off. But the thing is, it's so easy to do. I and mean, then you just need to put a reminder you're waiting for it. Okay. So at least if I ask you or you can tell me, oh, fo, fo, we're still waiting for this person to reply. Pero nasend ko na. So it's on that person to reply. And the next, you know, tomorrow, if they don't reply, I can follow up. Okay, gotcha. Right? Minsan kasi nagigilty ako. Like when I think no. about games, I feel guilty. Because the amount of time that I would spend playing video games before, sure, when we were younger, diba? Like after school work, we'll play games the whole night, then go to school in the morning. But now I feel like it's different because, I don't know, like, nawala yung hobby aspect of video games. And yeah. I felt like, I'm being unproductive. Kahit na relax time ko na, I still feel guilty for it. Yeah, for the most part, of course, it's okay. Of course, there are also some weeks, it's go time. Like, yeah, yeah. Drop everything, we work in like eight hours straight. Get, yes, yes. So that happens. So you just need to be cognizant of what we're trying to do. About what our goals are. Now, we're starting 2023 quite strong. There are going to be a lot of days, and I'm sure you can foresee, you know, we're like, okay, we need to focus. We need to get things done. Yeah. The things we do need to move the needle. Yeah. Arranging your email and being happy that you arranged your email, nobody else cares about that. Yeah, just you and your productivity. <laughs> that's not even productive. It's just you and your organizational feelings. Yeah, that's true. So right now, we're aligning. We're aligning what has to be done and the attitudes we need to succeed and progress 
this year. Now that I think about it, I had a similar mindset to what you just said. Is make sure you get things done and then you can enjoy whatever you want. Yeah. Right? So today we did a lot of errands. We're shooting a podcast episode. We did some reels. And after we shoot this podcast episode, I am going to finally unbox my merch and stream it. So I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, I have to look at my tasks because I was out the whole day. So I just have to fix what else I'm going to do because you're leaving tomorrow. You're going out of town for work. Mm -hmm. So I just need to make sure that I have my weekend like scheduled because we do have a couple of things I want to do over the weekend. Para ready na tayo for next week. Okay, so we talked about our productivity, our guilt when it came to work. But another thing about 2023 that I was awakened by was our health. Yeah. Because sabi nila, when you hit your 30s, that's when you know everything just happens. You start getting sick, you start feeling pain in your body that you never felt before. Yeah. And all of these things, Fofo and I started feeling this year this year i mean it's slightly end of the year last yeah. year like we started getting sick i like, became a lolo i have lower back pain apparently like there was like, the other day he couldn't stand up straight as in naka, naka, I mean, tutuwad. Naka tutuwad ka, and you're like i can't stand i can't stand <laughs> but okay yeah and naka, ano, naka bend over ka, and you were like bones i can't stand straight i can't stand straight and you're like ah ang sakit ng likod ko. And then, ako naman, parang, I had to go to the hospital and get all these tests done. <sighs> okay, side note, I also read in our Chinese horoscope that we need to take better care of our health. Especially for me, as Year of the Horse, I have to take better care of my health. For Year of the Rabbit, for you, usually daw, if it's your year, it's mostly unlucky daw, kasi same year, so you have to do like things. I thought it's supposed to be lucky. Sabi nila, what I, thought, I, read. I, thought, I thought the rabbit is supposed to make a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, it said <laughs> on their year. I, I, read, I always read so many different have, things. You have to contradict it now and do like lucky stuff. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I don't know much about it. I just like reading. Um, is this lucky? Summaries. <laughs> <laughs> crossing your fingers. Crossing lucky. your fingers. I don't know, but yeah, we just have to take better care of our health, and we realize that later. Yeah, on. and this is coming from that. <clears throat> crazy year of 2021 2022 because we were sitting down a lot of course yeah. it was work from we home we weren't moving a lot i was literally sitting down for like 16 hours straight laying down straight. playing games. no i was sitting down i wasn't lying down i was sitting down oh, really? I would be 16 hours straight and it was crazy it ruined my back i had been healthy and extremely extremely active for 33 years yeah. the first 33 years of my life and on the 34th year I completely, completely just obliterate all that activity. Yeah, we also got pretty chunky during yeah, that year. That's crazy. It's crazy for me to think that you're so healthy for 33 years and then that one year that you're just unhealthy, it just bites you back in the butt. Parang we gained like mga 20 yeah. pounds. No? <laughs> so it's also a wake-up call. Like, just be consistent. And that's the hardest thing to do. I mean, it was so exciting. There was so much for us to do. A lot, a lot going of on. things for us to grab. But hey, it happens. Like I said, we live and we learn. Yeah, I just wish that I could work out now because as of now, I'm still recovering from being sick. So I can't really work out ng todo. Yeah, I'm still working on my lower back pain. Getting there, hopefully in Rehab. a couple of weeks. Rehab. Yeah, PT, that PT sucks. Or... I mean, I'm not new to PT since I was into sports before. Mm. But I'm new to PT for lower back. old age pains. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I try not to feel too bad about it. Tito, okay. Fofo, isipin mo na lang. I, tito, I kind of skipped Tito. I went straight to Lolo. Well, isipin mo na lang how we're going to be in the next... 10, 20 years, yeah. right? So well, we really I'm, have to prepare. Yeah, I'm looking up because this is a warning sign for us to stay mm -hmm. healthy. So I'm actually quite optimistic. So the way that we're staying healthy now is we really had to change the way that we eat. Because for a long time, we were so used to just ordering and like, yeah. deliver tayo. For most of the pandemic, yeah. Well, yeah, most of the pandemic. Because it was easy. We didn't have to think about Yeah, because before anything. the pandemic, we were just eating brown rice and chicken and eggs. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, Super <laughs> diet, yon. Well, like nutrition. My abs pa kami nun. Ripped yon, ripped. But now... How much do you lift, bro? <laughs> nothing now. Nothing. So yeah, so Mikael is 
the chef in the house as yeah. of as of recent. Abangan yung reels ko. I, I I won't say it now. Just make a reel about what I cook for Bonizi. Yeah, I'm so happy. Popo's cooking. <laughs> I'm so killing. Thank you, TikTok. Well, anyway, we're gonna cut this podcast right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was an impromptu topic. I'm Fofo. And I'm Bones. Catch you on the next episode of Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. Bye!